Thanks, Keith. Students and uh, teachers were back in class at Island Middle School in Louisville today. Some personnel from the Mississippi Department of Health and MEMA were also on hand. They're still trying to figure out what sent dozens of students to get sick and go to the hospital last week. Our Jory Talley was on campus today. She joins us in the studio with more. While we were there, no one left the school sick. And even though the district has utilized the state's full resources in this event, the mysterious substance of the sickness still remains a mystery. We really just don't have a cost evasion or a reason for what happened last week. Desks are filled on Monday, days after an unknown sickness cleared classrooms and packed the emergency room. Evaluations there really were inconclusive. Uh, samples were sent to, uh, to Jackson, which basically showed nothing. And, uh, uh, in turn, the, uh, the building itself was swept uh, and failed to show any, anything, really. So everything was pretty much normal. We've received information from the State Department of Health that we may not be able to identify that exi exact instance or product that uh, created this problem. Superintendent Dr. Randy Grierson says the district has gone through every possible channel to make sure students and staff have a safe school environment. We've used the National Guard Civil Support Team came in and swept the building, checked for any kind of chemical that's, that's on this planet. Uh, nothing was found uh, to cause any uh, disruption or cause any of the symptoms that we were, um, that we've been alerted to. On Monday, even more safety measures are in place. We searched every room, mm -hmm. for, uh, every square inch of it. We searched students um, in, individually, uh, mm -hmm. but just tried to go through every route to see, to make sure, because that was a lot of the other questions, is that, okay, if it's not, that they didn't find anything, then it was possibly in, that someone was bringing it in. The district and agencies say this is an ongoing process, but it's not the first time something like this has happened. This has happened before in other places in the state. Uh, we've received uh, direction from the state that they appreciate the depth that we've gone to, the transparency that's been applied here. Everyone knows uh, of our situation. The governor has also been receiving regular briefings on the situation there in Louisville.